Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here from Royal Highness Python. In today's video, I got a really cool unboxing for you guys that is Split Snake from me and Lord of Lion. So, before we get into all that, huge shout out to Randy Bush Reptiles. As you could probably tell from the logo, he's also a firefighter. Really cool. Thanks so much for all you do. Definitely not slacking on the back. So, definitely go and check him out. Randy Bush Reptiles. RBR. So let's get right into this unboxing. Super excited to show you what we got. So let's go. So right here we got the box with the snake in it. As you can already tell, I opened it just to make sure everything was good. It was shipped from Montreal. We got this from our really good friends, Brad and Avery from Prodigious Pythons. Thank you so much for the snake. Uh, she was originally a hold back from them, but then they listed it and as soon as we seen it, we had to jump on the opportunity because it fits perfectly into our future breeding plans for this project. So without further ado, let's get right into the snake. And put this aside. So this is a female. And if you guys want to go and take a second to guess below what you think we got, it's pretty nice. It has a recessive, it's HEP. There's no recessive actually in it, so it's HEP for one recessive, and it's possible HEP for another, and it has two co-dominant morphs, or, yeah, two co-dominant morphs, so let's go look at this. Super cool. And if you have guessed right, you would have guessed an acid fire female 100% het enhancer possible het g stripe and she is just amazing i really love what acid does especially inside a clown and this being het enhancer and possible het g stripe we're gonna go and breed it to a clown het enhancer in the future or maybe even enhancer clown in the future and make some really cool 100 uh, enhancers 100 percent hit clown and that'll just get the project going really like to see the contrast inside of the really dark because acid clowns are really dark and enhancers bring out real contrast with all those real nice colors it brings and all the blacks it keeps real black so really like to see what enhancer clown looks like with the acid in it so that's a couple years down the line maybe four or five six seven not too sure it's gonna be a really long project but it definitely will pay off and let's just look at this girl here really cool love her head stamp that's the acid in the fire fire tends to have a little bit of a head stamp but acid usually has this head stamp and then the fire is blushing it out a bit more and really showing it and then if you look at the pattern super crazy just all the speckling inside and we have a really cool full stripe down the dorsal, which really, really, really is nice. Maybe a head G-stripe influence, not too sure, but really cool, love it. Really cleaned it up a lot, because usually acids tend to be a little bit more dirty, but love this female, couldn't be more happy with her. So thanks once again, Brad and Avery from Prodigious Python. Go and check them out on Instagram. I'll have their link inside the description below really cool I, I still can't believe we got this female so happy and uh, we're just gonna show you some other things we have in the project or what I have in the project coming up I won't show you everything because I do have some things uh, a little more quiet but I will show you this so let's get into that so right here is something else from the project this is a pinstripe double head enhancer g-stripe Really cool female. Love how her pattern is. She's super clean. She's really bright at the dorsal. And it's just a pinstripe double head. Really nice. Love the blushing right behind the head. And the blushed out head. Has this like brown burgundy color. Really like it. And hopefully this year she'll breed. I'll pair the enhancer G-stripe to her and make some really cool pinstripe enhancer G-stripes. Can't wait for that. And I think I've shown this before, but right here, I have my mahogany lesser female. She's huge. She's around 3,000, 200, 3,500 grams. And there I have my enhancer G-Stripe. He has some poop on him, but he's breeding to her. 
looking to make some really cool double heads for the future and then bring clown into it because mahogany and clown work so well together can't wait to get that project all wrapped up but once again that's another six seven years down the line so it's all a waiting game and it's just really fun working with these snakes and seeing what you can make in the future planning these uh, planning these projects and then down the line going changing stuff doing all this other crazy stuff that you couldn't even think of so you're trying to hit this snake but you make something else that looks really cool that you didn't even know would look that cool so it's really cool discovering what genes do together uh, producing these amazing animals and just like collecting them something I love to do something I'll continue to do and something I hope you guys will continue to watch me grow and make amazing snakes so hope you guys like this video one second before we go if you guys haven't already don't forget to hit that up uh, this bell button so every time I post a video you guys are notified it's down below and uh, like the video share the video don't forget to comment Comment if you liked it, give me some feedback, I'm trying to change it up, make it better for you guys, so let me know. So I'll catch you guys out in the next one. Peace.